The main event of Unified MMA 27 will be a title fight as Tony Lopez is going to defend the heavyweight title against our next guest, Tanner Bozer. Tanner, as always, appreciate the time, man. Of course, uh, secured this title matchup in that rematch against Tim Hag and, and got the win there. Stoppage in the second round. Uh, let's first go off back to that fight. Is that kind of how you saw that fight going down? Uh, yeah, I, I knew if I could... Um... Tim's, Tim's really dangerous because of his power. I figured if I got out of the first round, he was hooped. So I did predict uh, second round knockout, yeah. And, of course, uh, that sets up this fight, of course. Uh, you ended up taking a fight over in Russia. Things did not go your way. And I've had an t- uh, opportunity to talk to a lot of guys who went over Russia and, and fought in the tournaments that are going on over there. First off, what was that experience like for you, just, just going over there and, and fighting outside Canada? It was a good experience overall, for sure. I'd do it again. Uh, I mean, it didn't interrupt anything. I didn't have anything better to do, (laughs) you know. Uh, Crazy culture shock. Um, Bunch of stuff way different than I'm used to, but uh, it was was good. What was the biggest uh, culture shock? The food. And uh, in Grozny, well, we were in Grozny. We weren't in, like, you know, greater Russia. We were in Chechnya. So um, it's a Muslim-dominated country. Uh, food's way different. And uh, I guess, you know, like the jet lag and this, that, and the other thing. But um, we, where we were, we were, you're not allowed to wear shorts outside or a T-shirt outside, even though it's in the plus 20s. Celsius. Um, just uh, a lot of different, a lot of different rules, just a different culture, I guess. And you know, obviously that fight did not go your way, losing decision. Any? Do you take anything out of that fight? Yeah, I mean, it is what it is. It was a reasonably close fight. I don't know if you watched it, but it doesn't really bother me. And, of course, you've got uh, Tony uh, Lopez here, the heavyweight championship title on, on the line here. Uh, you know, first off, I mean, Tony, I mean, veteran of the sport. I mean, the guy's got uh, you know, over 60-plus fights, so finding fight footage on him def- definitely is not, not an issue for you here. But overall, what's your thoughts on Tony? He's super durable. The guy, uh, in over 60 fights, he's been TKO'd twice, and they're not even real TKO. It's one's like... Uh, he injured his own leg and the other one's a cut or something. He's uh, extremely tough. He's savvy. You know, he's good at everything. Tony's Tony's super dangerous, man. Um, that said, I think we're going to go in there and it's going to be a, I think it's going to be a really exciting fight. And I think we're going to get the job done late in the fight. Is being durable one of uh, the, the? Is that one of the hardest traits to maybe prepare for for a fighter? Because you know it's just going to take a lot to finish him. Yeah, I mean, you just got to make sure conditioning's up because uh, he, if he can take more punches than you can throw, that can be an issue for sure. But um, I always have good conditioning, and uh, I'm ready to go. And he's a guy that, that likes to say super active. I, I know he was supposed to fight this past weekend as, as we're talking. He's got a, you know, according to his Tapology page, he's got a fight in King of the Cage coming up this weekend as we're talking here on, on May the 21st. I mean, is it one of those things of uh, you're like, you know what? Hey, if I can find a stream of those fights, I'm definitely tuning in because that may be the best preparation you can get for this fight is seeing what he's doing in these fights. Yeah. Um, I didn't even know about the King of the Cage fight. That wasn't booked two days ago. So, uh, yeah, that's... Yeah, on his uh, topology watched... page, it says he's uh, taking on Nathan Bryan. Yeah, that's new. It's news to me. Um, it, it'll be good to watch. Uh, I watched a fight he had, maybe his, his third newest fight or something, which, of course, is only like a month ago. Um, I don't think he's changing that much, obviously. I don't even really know how much he trains. I think he fights every weekend, and that's just training, and that's fine. I mean, he's had 60 fights. He's He is what he is. He's going to be super tough no matter what. I mean, when you, when you see, I mean, as much as he's fought this year already, I mean, is is it one of those things of are you are you a little jealous? Like, man, I wish I could get that many fights in in a year. Uh, no, one day I will. It doesn't matter. I'll fight him uh, 
this will be my third fight this year. That's still pretty good. Still a lot more than most people. I'm still going to do a few more. Well, what's the goal for this year? I mean, is it like, is do you have a magic number of fights that you want to have? No, but it'll be five or six. And once again, we're joined by Tanner Bozer. It's going to be the main event of Unified MMA 27 coming up on Friday, June the 3rd in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. We're going to be taking on Tony Lopez for the heavyweight title. Of course, uh, the vacant lightweight title will be online in the co-main event as well. But, uh, you know, in terms of going out there and getting the victory, I mean, what do you see as uh, the keys for you to walk away with the win here? Um, I have a power advantage. Uh, Tony's Tony's able to put guys away. You know, he's definitely capable of knockouts. He's a heavyweight. Every heavyweight is. But, but I'm not scared to get. I'm not scared to bang with him. Uh, I have a power advantage. I have a speed advantage. He's got he's got a lot of experience. He's savvy. Yeah, uh, he's not. I'm not going to throw anything that he hasn't seen before. Uh, so I just got to keep it. Uh, just got to keep it crisp and not get sloppy. He's a smaller heavyweight, you know, very small heavyweight in terms of, you know, I mean, I think the last time he, he weighed 221 pounds for a heavyweight fight. What type of advantages does a smaller fighter like himself have at heavyweight? He He's lighter, but he's 6'5". So it's not like he's a small heavyweight. Um, he, he definitely, if, it, if it's a uh, wrestling a lot of wrestling going on. The, the guy that has a weight advantage by whatever, 30 pounds, that, that's going to be significant. But uh, I see this fight playing out mostly on the feet. So I don't think it's going to really matter. Any predictions on when you think you might get the uh, the finish? Round four. Is, is that something that you've just been visualizing and it just keeps popping up over and over again? Or is it just kind of a gut feeling? a gut feeling i'm usually right i remember last time we had you on here when you talked about tim Hag. You, you did predict that that knockout would come in, in in the second round of course main event of unified mma 27 if you get the win here i mean it, do you start have you started to think about what would be next for you at all or do you just concentrate on this fight uh well i i definitely concentrate on every fight but at the same time it's not it's not like you're looking past the guy you're considering both sides of the coin oh if i lose i'll probably have to do this or if i win i'll have to do this like it's 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 not irresponsible i don't think to consider the outcomes um if i win this fight i don't think it puts me anywhere special i was on a three fight win streak with two ufc vets and ufc was still humming and hawing and then i took that fight in Russia on a week notice, lost. Well, now I'm going to have to win two more at least before they even look at me again. So Tony Lopez is a step in that direction. But, no, I don't think this win puts me anywhere special. And, of course, it'll be on June 3rd, Unified MMA 27. Tanner's always appreciate time. Good luck in the fight, man. Hey, thanks a lot. Thanks for having me.